Hey, it's Sugar from Sugar Promotions. I'm just here at Visions Media House waiting on my boy Ox. I'm the host of the show, Beat from a Gangster. There's my gangster right here. What's up, Sugar? Bye, bye. What's up, Maze? Yeah, yeah, you done know what they do, baby. <laughs> yeah, we have what? Vision, Vision Media, baby. Let's go. What's up, it's Sugar from Sugar Promotions and Entertainment. I'm here in Visions Media House, repping Spit Global. I'm here with Ox, um, you know, otherwise known as Louis Rankin, Grammy Award winning reggae artist, Ox from the movie Belly. And for all of you that don't know, also Teddy Bruckshot from the movie Shot Does. We're just chilling here, you know, talking and. Uh, we just thought you guys would want a gangster's point of view of current events, so we're here to give it to you. So, um, Ox, tell the people about yourself, for all who don't know. I'm just a street gangster. You understand? I'm a straight, ghetto, but rich gangster. Played in movies, played in music, but I keep it real with my people. I'm not like one of them fake ass out there. How do you feel, um, about you know, you said the word fake as, how do you feel about everybody wanting to be a rapper these days? Yeah, it's a lot of people want to be a rapper, and I, I'm not I'm not mad at that. But a lot of them need to learn how to rap before coming on set, going in studio, and you know I mean? Wasting producers' time and shit like that. If you can't rap, and you go get a job, you understand? Or you go college or something. I ain't going to tell you to go out there and sell no weed or no crap because I used to do that when I was young and this game changed. You know, they got a lot of these demons and them demons is police. They on your ass, you know what I mean? So it's best try to get your little business or do that. Don't be wasting your time rapping. I hear you. True words spoken from a gangster. Um, Ox, you know, the hip-hop world knows you as the world boss. Um, at least that's all I ever hear. Ox, the world boss. Teddy Ruckshot, the world boss. How do you feel about um, the reggae and hip-hop world also labeling cartel reggae artists as the world boss? If, if, if cartel wants to call himself world boss, that's cartel business. You understand what I'm saying? I don't indulge in the boss shit. You understand? I'm a straight gangster and I ain't be no boss. All my all my people around me is my soldiers. I don't believe in boss. I'm the world general. I'm a general, straight general, not no boss. I'm one boss. Boss is slave drivers. So fuck what Cartel talking about world boss. And all his little followers can keep following him and saying they're world boss. Riding his dick, you know what I mean? Ain't no such thing as world boss. World general. I hear you, I hear you. Um, how do you feel about, um, you know, the world calling the baby of Beyonce and Jay-Z, Blue Ivy Carter? How do you feel about, uh, you know, words of the name possibly meaning Satan's daughter? You know what? I don't know why people keep talking about Beyonce and Jay-Z fucking baby. Everybody got baby. I got baby. Got you got baby. We all got baby. Our niggas in the project got baby. Why is this baby so motherfucking special? The baby got life just like I do, and that life could stop just like mine. You know what I mean? Everybody talk why? Because it's Beyonce and Jay-Z. Fuck a Jay-Z and fuck Beyonce. I don't want to hear about no baby and what name they want to give it. If they want to call the baby Lucifer, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I ain't time. I got kids. I got kids. I take care of my kids. I love them. You understand? I ain't never sell no pictures of my kids for six million. Cause I ain't down sure going to buy Jay-Z baby's picture for no six million. <laughs> I take you to the hood and give it to my niggas. Fuck them people, man. <laughs> and uh, how do you feel about 50 Cent's um, headphone line? You know, he's now in the headphone business and it's uh, quite a lucrative business. How do you feel about him getting into that? Here we go again. Fucking 50 Cent. What can 50 Cent do to me? If I take you to Red Lobster, can 50 Cent pay for a fucking lobster? It can't even get me a roll. I can't even buy a cigarette with fucking 50 Cent. So what the fuck are you telling me about 50 Cent? I don't give a fuck about 50 Cent. 50 Cent cool with me. I know him from Queen. We grew up in the hood, hustled together. All that. And I respect 50 Cent. The name in the hip hop business. But when I hear 50 Cent, it fuck with me. <laughs> I'm on that million shit. 
I hear you, it's all about the dollar signs. Um, also, I notice you're well dressed and um, you know, you keep yourself very clean and dapper. Yeah. How do you feel about all um, these young dudes walking around with their pants up beneath their bottoms? Um, you know, and you know, walking like penguins and calling themselves gangsters. Well, what do you have to say to them? That's not gangster. I mean, gangster don't make you have to drop your pants below your ass. That means you're bringing attraction to the world for your ass. Gay people gonna be looking at your ass. I ain't gonna be looking at it because I don't like nothing with a dick and a ass. I don't like that. So I don't look at them. You understand? I wouldn't drop my pants like that. Cause why am I gonna be going out here showing my drawers, man? It's like you telling me, hey, come fuck me. I ain't on that. Niggas need to draw their shit up. That's what they need to do. And be real gangster. Grip your shit up so your gun stay tight, nigga. Fuck wrong with them. <laughs> I hear you. And you're also um you're doing now you're doing some crossover music. I hear you have a new song coming out called Getting Money, another one called Crash Weed, you know, another one coming out with the uh, Gotti from Spit Global. Um let us know a little bit about that. And, you know, can you give me some feel on it? Oh, I want yeah. to hear your sound. Oh yeah, well, you know, I'm a dancer, a reggae artist. I change over, you know what I mean, to cross over hip hop life. Mm -hmm. To be one of the first to make a that really so famous to change from the dance hall to the hip hop. So I'm working with people like Mazi, working with Bismo from my house record. I'm working with Trap Bastard, you know what I mean? I'm working with a lot of people right now. So the world will see a new ox coming at you. Don't fuck with your mind too. Yeah. And, um... Speaking of hip hop, I forgot to mention. Um, I hear Chris Brown and Rihanna made some music again together. How do you feel about that? After um, you know he pretty much abused her and shamed her for the whole world to see. And um, how do you feel about them coming back together? What kind of sign or message do you think they're sending to everyone making music together? What do you think they're trying to say or tell the world by doing this? Well, yes, I think Chris Brown did something that no man respect. Okay, I love Rihanna. That's my girl, okay? And the next guy put his hand on Rihanna, the ox gonna find that. And the ox gonna I step to that. I so, love that girl too. I don't respect men that beat women. Mm -hmm. They chance men put their hands on women. Amen. You know, if you wanna put your hands on something, come try put it on me. And I'll bust a cap in your ass. That's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. uh, Rihanna is innocent, she a woman, you understand? She should have picked up a bottle, bust Chris Brown, buck mm -hmm. him, head open, fuck his ass up. And if I see him and he said anything about this, what I'm saying, Chris, I'm a bitch slap you for doing that. Remember that, <laughs> motherfucker. So, can I ask something? If somebody gave you a nickname like, um, you know, how they have Chris Brown, they call him Breezy, Lil Wayne, they call him Wheezy, Drake, they call him Drizzy. Like, how do you feel about that nonsense? Because as far as I'm concerned, like everything's an rest. Izzy. What like is all that about? I don't like none of the other rest. I don't like none of I like Lil Wayne, though. And I like Birdman, you understand, because they're in the same type of organization that I'm in. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to let you know that straight up. They in my clique, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In my army, mm -hmm. you know, the five-star army. Mm -hmm. You heard? So what would you call yourself, Ox? A five-star general. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, this is The View from a Gangster. It's Sugar Promotions, signing out, Visions Media House. Yo, this is for my fans, I just wanna let y'all know, you know what I mean? I just tell y'all how I feel, you know what I mean? Cause I really don't give a fuck about none of these niggas, man. You know, I give a fuck about y'all. That's why I'm working for y'all. I'm not working for no haters in this business right now. So I'm a gangster, I don't give a fuck. A nigga don't like what I say, you can tell that motherfucker step to me. Anyway, I got a new single coming out, and I just gone into some crossover hip hop type of shit. I'm gonna give y'all a little sneak preview, it go like this. Haters wanna stop me, but none of y'all just can't stop me. I says, haters wanna stop me, but none of y'all just can't stop me. Wow, we getting money now, we getting money now, we getting money now, who the fuck won't stop us now? We getting money now, we getting money now, we getting money now, who the fuck is gonna stop us now? I got shit in my drawers like Debo. Fuck fucking if I ain't fucking with Kilo. Lay back and get it like pillow. Double up money looking like mirror. 
The cops wanna lock we for shit that we know we know round here we don't play that hero. Snitching on the nigga get you burn like Nero. Nigga, 10 G's get you fine like Nemo. What's what you talk? Saying about me, oh. Singing all that shit like you Neo. Quit with that ego. That shit is Nilo. And that shit you want will get you below. We getting money now. We getting money now. We getting money now. Who the fuck is gonna fuck us now? We getting money now. We getting money now. We getting money now. Who the fuck is gonna stop us now? No heart, I'm working with lungs. I've been this way since I was fucking young. I work hard for the money. Look what I've become. Brings for the money. Diamonds for my honey. Wait till I catch them niggas that owe me. Wait till I catch them niggas that owe me. The ox is back. The ox return. And I'm getting money back. Tax return. And now I'm back on the table turn. You all fuckers need to look and learn, and then you get money to burn, burn. We getting money now, we getting money now, we getting money now. Who the fuck is gonna stop us now? No brakes, press gas, left lane, go fast, quick money, blow fast. You see my face? That's a dope pass. Sneak preview for y'all fans out there. The Ox love y'all, man. Yo, it's the Ox, baby. I know y'all ain't seen me in a while, but y'all seen me in this movie, but I'm doing some different shit. Real Wolf. So sick. Social Club. Y'all look out for this video soon. I'm going to be up in it representing, yo. And guess what? If y'all don't like it, y'all bitch-ass niggas. If you love it, then y'all real-ass people, yo. So for real? So sick, social club, the real wolf, ox, ox representing. You understand me? I say we murder bomber clad people for fun. I am the original Jamaican Dandara.